Yeah. <laughs> so all these people are asking me, so Jim, what happened to Bill Django? And um, all I can do is to go to the place in my life where Bill Django left the army, left it just as he did in the movie, and uh, decided to step out, you know, into his own new next discovery. And fundamentally, that was a time when I recognized that the, the, the roar of cities getting captured by the stream on the highway, deadlines, uh, interruptions in my life were stealing my soul. Stealing my soul. Too busy. Too in my head. Too talking. Not enough feeling. Not enough inside work. Uh, not enough peace around me. Too far from nature too far from nature. It's like government, everybody else seems to be going on a path that is leaving nature. I thought, I thought, well, what a dumb way to spend your life on earth, <laughs> away from the real stuff. So I made a list of all the, it ended up to be 33 things about being in nature that uh, would satisfy me at the sun setting and the water and the, in the evening, the full, experience of four seasons but no extremes you know the the musk muskiness of walking through multiple bushes of aromatic flowers you know yabba 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 paradise stuff damn right it's paradise stuff so uh since since bill Django was always a prototyper he always said well give me the idea i'll make it real and then i'll sit in it and then if it works, I'll tell everybody about it. By the way, soon after, I'll be gone somewhere else. Well, so I found a piece of land. Turns out on an island, and the land reached up my leg one day and grabbed me, you know. It was an energetic fingers coming right through the soil and reaching up to my heart and saying, you know, Bill, you're home. Don't think about another place. And so I started. And 20 years later, I live in what I believe everybody will live in in 30 years. Um, that's just where I am. I want to be living 30 years from now. So we came in initially, uh, the kind of people who were attracted to this place where I live, uh, swarmed the town. And it was a ghost town. There were only three buildings out of 35 where anything was going on. All the life force had gone down to the hotels. And uh, so we started by repairing and cleaning and painting the sweetest big building in town. And pretty soon it became the altarpiece for everybody driving into town. So all the people in town got the idea and they started to paint their buildings. And, and pretty soon there was a, a little ethnic this and a little ethnic that. and. You go into the sushi place, but you get Italian sauce, and you go into the spa, and a French guy introduces you to a Burmese girl, and why people from all over the world were sort of already here, but we never asked them what their ethnic contribution was, and now this global village is a global village full of these services, which are global, international, but all now part of one culture just like the planet is culturally unified now. Uh, they're just some organizations we invented along the way that are sort of in the way at the moment. Bless their hearts for all that they did in the last century and bless their hearts for sort of, don't get up between us and the land or you're gonna, you're gonna be disliked. And we're just at the moment walking away quietly, all right? We're walking back to the land where we can be, sir, where we can survive in a beautiful way, and your efforts to help us survive have been absolute failures. So you know what? You're fired, and no hard feelings. We like you. We know you're all nice people trying to do a job. Come out to the country with us. Reoccupy the old farmed town. Uh, populate it with life, dancing, fresh food, uh, and little bits of, of of all of the nations of the world ethnically. Then make yourself a homestead and start at the ground level and 
Don't stop till it's a botanical garden. It's full of food, doesn't have to be planted every year, full of sanctuaries, great places to play, great places to feel serene, great places to be alone in nature, and honor this planet that was always ready to be paradise. No excuses.